How can we take an image and turn it into a seamless image texture in Blender? In other words, how can we make it so we can tile it without seeing these obvious scenes? So the first thing we need to do is open it up. You can use Affinity Photo or Photoshop. I'm gonna show you how to do it in Affinity, but it's pretty much the same process in Photoshop. The first thing we need to do is just to, you know, um, sample how this is gonna tile. So go to Filters and go to Distort and then Affine, and then you can go to 50% under offset. In Photoshop, it's the, I believe it's under filters and other, and then you go to offset and you can offset by half the value of the image size. We go to apply and we could see we have these obvious seams here. The first step we could do is just to select where those are happening. And then in Affinity, we go here to this brush called, called the inpainting brush. In Photoshop, you could just go to edit and then content aware fill. This is one area where I feel Photoshop um, is a little bit better at this, but Affinity works pretty dang well, as you could see. So that's kind of got rid of some of the tiling. So let's go ahead and preview this. Um, so if we go to export, let's go here and just export and we'll do underscore one, just so we could see the progress. Now let's go back here and just replace that. So you'll see that this has fixed some of the issue. We've definitely got rid of like the hard seams, but there's still this issue where there's definitely a value difference. And I suspect this is from the actual photo. There may be a little bit of vignette around the edges where things are a little bit darker. So you could, you know, go in by hand and um, brush this out in Photoshop or Affinity. You could also, something that I recommend you do, is just to layer um, another layer in your texture. So if we come to our Fluent Tools, for example, and just go to Grunges, and I'm just gonna grab the first one I see, we could take this and do like a mixed color node, and maybe we set it to multiply, and we could take this, and this second one could be any kind of um, image texture, really. It doesn't have to be this specifically. And we could just apply a very low value. And you could see that already has kind of helped. Um, but let's say you didn't want to layer in other images and you just want to normalize the values in this, you know, original image. We could totally do that in Affinity. You could do it in Photoshop as well with pretty much the exact same steps that I'm going to show you. So the first step is to take this layer and hit Control J. That just duplicates the layer. With this top one, you're gonna to go to filter, blur, and then average, which is just gonna pick an average value and apply it to the whole image. Then you're gonna take your bottom photo, take it up to the top, and drop down the opacity to somewhere around 50%. I'm gonna go a little bit higher than 50. And then under the blend mode, change it from the default normal to linear light. Last thing we're gonna do is go up to filters. We've already blurred it. Now let's sharpen it and go to high pass. And you can play with this radius amount. Um, I usually set it to around 100 pixels. It really depends on the resolution of your image. Let's go maybe 150, hit apply. And now let's export this new version. Let's call it underscore two, just so we can preview it. And come here and let's apply that new image. And now, as you can see, it's totally got rid of um, the vignette on the image, it's normalized the values on the image to a pretty good degree. And just an important thing to remember here is this is an art, so it's gonna be different on every image. You may need to tweak the values. Don't just take what I said here and apply it to every single image. Um, as you could see, we could start to really tile this even to extreme amounts, and we're really not seeing that tile effect as obviously as we were seeing before. And just really to drive this home, let's take the original image, it was concrete nine, and let's um, tile it the same number of times, four times, and let's go ahead and compare the two. So this is before, and this is after. So we've totally got rid of the seams. Now, one thing you'll notice is, yes, we are missing a little bit of contrast. If you wanna bring that back, it's pretty easy. Just go to mix color, we'll mix this with itself, change it to multiply, and we can play with the multiply value in a second. But for this second one, let's drop down a color ramp, not a color mix, let's see if I can get the right one. Drop down a color ramp and we can solo that so we can see what we're doing. We can increase or clamp down on the values so the contrast is higher. And then we can go back here and play around with how much we multiply that back in. So this is with nothing, and this is starting to bring back some of the 
um, extremeness in those values. So we can really clamp down here just so we're getting some, some of the dark areas without muddying up the whole image. And that is how you can quickly take any, pretty much any texture, image texture in Blender, um, pull it into Affinity or Photoshop and quickly make it completely seamless and tileable. Thanks for checking this out.